Well, this is our Monday show, 9 a.m. Pacific time. We do Fly on the Wall, which is a show about accountability partners and how to help you get a better one or have one if you, or how to choose one if you don't have one already, as well as some great resources that you can use to, um, to use with your accountability partnership. So today on the show, we are talking about our step four for getting an accountability partner, and that is uh, choosing a program to do to the, together. So Cindy and I are going to give you our recommendations of programs that we've done that we absolutely love. So we should do a quick intro, Cindy, before I forget. So I want you to introduce yourself. It's all good. I am Cindy Carey. My family and I own Starburst Construction Company. We build and remodel custom homes in Silicon Valley. So our goal is to have clients for life and bring your dream home to life. Yes, and those of us, are, oh, go, go ahead, partner. sorry. Yes, so my if you're on Facebook partner. Live, you can come over to Zoom and join us if you wanna talk, or you can stay on Facebook Live and just post in the comments. And you know, let us know if you have an accountability partner, where you're coming in from, introduce yourself, because we wanna build this community here on Facebook Live. We transferred over from Blab a few weeks ago. Um, and we want you guys to get to know each other and, and you know, your accountability partner could be here if you don't have one already. So my name is Shauna Anderson new. I am the owner of Spitfire advertising and we're here in Northern California as well. And I help my clients get prospects and turn them into clients by creating marketing campaigns, uh, offline that connect, captivate and convert. So miss, Ooh, you like that? Yeah. The three C's. <laughs> so let me, let me just throw it out there to all of you on Facebook. We really do. When we were on Blab or um, Periscope, yeah, we had a lot more, yeah, Periscope, we had more interactions. So we're trying to encourage interactions. So whatever you feel comfortable with, if you want to type something in there, whatever, it was just really about getting um, your input on accountability partners as well as just cleaning up the chair and what we do and what to look for us. Yep, let's go over the agenda real quick. So we are going to talk about our step four. We'll do a quick recap of step one through three that we suggest in doing when you're getting an accountability partner. And then we are going to recommend some programs that we think that uh, are wonderful. And if you want to know more, you can either reach out to us after the program or ask in the comments. And let's see. And then we're going to talk about our wins, our lessons, and our goals. And we want you to do the same. And then Cindy will end it with a message of the day. So, yes, yes. Okay, Miss Thing. So let's talk about accountability partners first. So if anybody wants to type in the chat, if you have an accountability partner now, what you struggle with, if you have one, if you don't have one, what's your biggest obstacle, we can help you through those as well. So we talked the last three weeks, this was our fourth week, about the different steps to getting an accountability partner. So, quick recap, you want to do it or do you want me to, Cindy? Um, well, go ahead. We, we can both fill it in. So, the first one would be, you know, what are you looking for an accountability partner for? Yep. So, briefly, it could be anything. Um, our, our relationship has evolved into things besides business, but it started off as a friendship and business. Right. Um, it could be for your health. It could be for an event that you have coming up. It could be, you know, a one-time thing or an ongoing thing. Definitely. So what is it that you're looking for would be step one. Step two, or do you have anything to add? No, that was good. And actually, Catherine brought that up last week where she's got several accountability partners on, in all the different areas of her life. So you can have, like, Cindy fits into a lot of the areas of my life. There's just a couple where where she's not a great fit for an accountability partner because she's either mastered it or it's maybe not something that she wants to be yeah, wants to do in her life. So then I'll look at, you know, I have other accountability partners that I work with. Um, so step two, what, what, write down what you want in accountability partner relationship and what you bring to the table, right? So we suggest you look for somebody that's a vibrational match, somebody who's as motivated as you are and committed to this. If you want a mentor or want to be a mentor, then, you know, look for somebody who wants to be a student or, you know, can mentor you. Um, I think it's really important to know if that person just talks a good game, right? Or if they're actually about the action. I think that is huge because if you aren't, if they're not as committed as you are, then it's not going to work. You have anything to add to that step? Well, except for sometimes you don't know that mm -hmm. until you actually go through the process, which is why we have, we, we're, we're 
we're talking about the steps the way we are so that you can, it could be a short term thing and you can reevaluate right. and see where you want to go. Because right. sometimes you don't know somebody's things committed. And then when you get into doing your work together, you're like, oh, it's not quite the match I thought. And that's where I think that I've heard from a lot of people with accountability partners when they say it doesn't work or it's not working for them. And that's where it is, is you've chosen the wrong person and they're not as committed as you are. Um, and to me, what that means is just keep trying because people yeah. just say it doesn't work. Right. It's like, well, keep trying. There's so many people, you know, it's like there are so many people out there that you just don't know who's going to be the exact person. So um, it really... We can attest that it really will rock your world. Up to both of us on this one. So, Definitely. So step three, briefly, I believe, was make a list uh -huh. of, of people that would that could be potential accountability partners for you. So yep. again, looking at the things that you bring, the things that you want them to bring, and then making a list of people that um, that you that you think. And and frankly, if you try one and it doesn't work, then you already have your list. Go to the next one, maybe. Right. So, which then brings us to step four, which is once you ask that accountability partner, then how do you get started? Right. And, and what this is what we're talking about, kind of the trial, the trial period, which is we recommend we started doing a class together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was the online course that we started together, and um, and we've done many other courses and things both in person and online since then, and even on our own. Um, but that's a really good way to try out for a period of time and see if the person's committed to doing the homework, committed to showing up on time and things like that. Definitely. Definitely. So, what do you have to add on that, my dear? Um, I just, I think that what you said was great. So I think that we should go into talking about some different programs that we have done that we really think is amazing, right? Like our top choices. So you want to go first or do you want me to? Go ahead, you go first. Okay, so I think one of our very favorites is John Asaraf, right? So he does, ding, ding, ding. yes, winning the game of money, which is talking about your money blocks and how to get through them. And he, what we love about John Asaraf's programs is because they all have meditations to go with them. And he combines like um, theta, beta waves, hypnosis. Uh, there's, there's like, I don't want to say like maybe. <laughs> Yeah, affirmations. There's all these different things, and he combines them all together. And it's a meditation that you listen to every single day. And depending on how the length of the course, it could be eight week, twelve week, whatever. But you can actually, am I wrong, Cindy? You can actually feel it working. Like you have your headphones on and you're listening to it, and you can feel it working on your brain. Yeah. So he's got winning the game of money, which is getting past your um, blocks with money. Winning the game of fear is helping you push through your fears. Uh, winning the game of weight loss, which was one that you haven't done with me, but I did with with uh, one of my friends who's a personal trainer. Yeah, those were all great. And he's got other ones as well, but those I thought were all awesome. Yeah, anything yeah. to add about John? No, he's fabulous. I love him. He's amazing. It it really is a great a great blend of everything. He does have exercises that you do as well. Uh -huh. So there is yes. a little bit of, of homework to do, but he's great. Definitely. Uh, then there's uh, Shalene Johnson. So, yes. That's so weird. I totally forgot. She was not in my brain at all. Really? That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Smart success. Um, teaching cool. you how to set up your business to be more successful. MIA, which is her Marketing Impact Academy. So that's how to do marketing for your business. Uh, social media, freemiums. Um, I can go on and on with that one. Live videos. And then... Wait, wait, last one. wait, wait, no, Shalene also has VBA, which okay. I just started listening to when I was driving on Saturday because I really need to get more security and things in my business. And that's one of the things she's covered is like structure, setting it up for having employees and for security. So you're not handing out your passwords and just everything, setting things up a little bit differently. So those are the three for Shalene that I think that should be recommended. What were we going to say? Yeah. Your, your last one. You're, I want to guess your third one. You, you know. You know me too no, well. Uh, the initials are T R. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of course, you know Tony I Robbins. Know. Tony Robbins. So I've done his UPW event where we did the fire walk. 
I know that some other people who've done that, his business mastery, Date with Destiny, and his other ones, and everybody says everything he does is fabulous. I mean, I've listened to a lot of his other stuff, um, his RPM, which is uh, Rapid Planning Method or something, it's something like that. I just know it's called RPM. But he's got some amazing programs with those as well. So I, I love Tony Robbins. He was like my first person that I started following for like personal development, business stuff. So he's amazing. And then my last one, which you probably, you, I know you're not thinking this, but you're not going to be surprised. So if you want to do a program together where you're actually doing a book with a course, which is kind of the new thing, it seems like it's going out. Look, my well-loved book. So this is what happens when you work together a while. You start thinking the same thoughts. So <laughs> I was going to mention this. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So Will It Fly by Pat Flynn. Um, so how to test your next business idea so you don't waste your time and money. And he's got this whole book and you're doing exercises along here. And then he has an online portion that goes along with this, which I've seen a lot more people doing that more and more often. So this is really good. Pat Flynn also he has his podcast called Part of uh, Smart Passive Income that you guys should listen to. He's great. He is. He's very energetic. He's really a good speaker. So um, yeah, I was that would be one that I would recommend as well. So you you did you covered a lot of them for sure. Um, one of the things I want to say is Wait, that I know who. You, oh, go ahead. I'm going to guess who you're going to say. Okay. First off, I want to say that for us, I think it's a little bit evident that we like a little bit of homework. So we like to read and do something, but we have, like to have a little bit of work, but not too much. Right. So that might not work for you. If that doesn't work for you, then, you know, pick a course that doesn't require that. Maybe it's going to a seminar and, you know, doing some stuff, but finding someone to do that with. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Yes. Jack Canfield. Yeah, Jack Canfield's high on my list right now. Yeah, I, I have, I have to say with being gone, I kind of feel out of touch, but... He is high on my list as far as um, a lot of the principles, a lot like John Asraf, which he talks about John Asraf in his book. Oh, his book. awesome. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I like Jack Canfield. Who else? Oh, come on. Louise Hayes. Who? Louise Hayes, yeah. But yeah, I don't know if she doesn't, right now. she doesn't do Katie, any programs, right? I don't know that Katie has any programs. But, oh, um, Katie Bray. She is, she's helping us with some, um, getting rid of some blocks and things like that. She's an intuitive so, coach. So her name is Katie, K-A-T-Y. Last name is B-R-A-Y. We need to have her on the show. I think we really yeah. need to have her on the show. Okay, I'm making a note. We're going to ask her to join us. Okay, so the last one is really much more concrete um, and deals with really the nuts and bolts of what we do and building skills. And given that introduction, I cannot believe, come on. You have to know, Eric Waffle. Oh, I yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we like it. Yeah, we for sure. We yeah. like Eric. Eric Waffle is, is really good. It's a good. Um, it's a good place to start. It's in fact, it was one of the first programs that we did together. Right. And and he has a lot of different programs, um, but learned a lot about selling and scripting and what is it? Selling is selling, selling is, is service. Selling is service. And he has this little mantra he says, but that's one of the things. Uh, oh, okay. So one of the things that, sorry, Lee just, Lee just said he, she just joined us. She, she was on something else and it was freezing and fading. Thank you, Lee, for joining us. Um, so Eric, one thing I love about him is that he teaches you that, you know, he's not like that typical pushy sales trainer, or sales person. He is teaching you that when you're selling, you're just helping people. And it's this whole different mentality. And he talks about scripting. And he, I mean, that's a big thing for him is scripting. And he's got yeah. this sales mountain that he teaches you and, you know, how to go back and where you have to go back when you have a second meeting to bring him forward again to start the meeting over. But he's really good. He's really good. He does weekly calls. And a lot of value yeah. for the price. A lot of value for the price. And the other thing that I really liked was the first time that we did our sales and marketing plan for a year through him. And, and the support that he gives the people that are involved with his program with that is really good as well. So to me, his is more, it's not so much um, the neurophysical and the affirmations. And it's like the tools. It's like the toolbox. Oh, okay. So, is the tool belt too, I feel. 
hers is like hands-on it's kind of the tool belt where some are there you're still doing work but it's maybe more on your inner self right to help your and then these are things that are actual tools to use in your business got it okay so but there's a bunch of other stuff out there so whatever strikes your fancy and if it if it sounds good and you're talking to someone, they're like, oh, I want to do that too, because that's what happened with us. You know, you never know. You could end up like us three years later where both of us, I mean, we've doubled, I think, tripled our business since we started. And, and I know that you have done probably near the same. So yeah. um, it's really helped us a lot, both personally and professionally. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I love it. I love it. So if anybody is watching wants to put in the comments or come over to Zoom and tell us about some programs that you would recommend or your questions, that would be awesome. Uh, Lisa. Hi, me. Hello. Okay. So let's go into – so this is the second part we do of our show where we're talking about our goals, our wins, our lessons from the last week and, and the week coming up. So please post in the comments – what you learned from last week. They're not failures, it's lessons. Um, your goals, your wins from last week, and then coming forward to what you have planned for this week. So that helps us keep you accountable, right? And you're putting, because you're putting it out there in the universe. So Miss Cindy, do you want to go no. first? Let's, uh, last what, week, my, yeah, let's talk about your goals last week, Miss Vacation. <laughs> um, I learned that, let's see, when you ride share with Uber, it takes longer for them to show up because oh. they're looking for another ride. Oh. I, learned, um, I learned that it's really awesome having my daughter-in-law in the office and my son, and they did an awesome job running the business. Nice. Which is really exactly what we want them to do. Right. Today I ended up coming in the office this morning and being like, okay, I don't know where, like, where are we at with all these jobs? So it was awesome. Nice. And, um, uh, I learned that really I would like to have a longer vacation. <laughs> so that's my lesson. Hard because life. Well, I'm learning that. Well, I'm, I'm learning life. that Cindy has a really hard life and I'm very jealous at this moment. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just I'm kidding. Sorry. So that's what, that's what my lessons for last week. And, and so the biggest lesson is this: you do need to take time away. You do. It's super, super important to get yourself away. Even, even when we were gone, my husband said, "Well, we have art. We went to the, we went to Chicago. We went to the art museum. Well, we have an art museum in San Francisco that we haven't even been to, and we're like, we should go there." Um, I need to go to the Disney Museum in San Francisco. For those of you who are local and didn't know, it's really they said not really for kids. That kids won't get a lot out of it. It's a lot of reading. No. We have to go. Yeah, I really yeah. want to go. Yeah, so there's a lot to do in your own backyard. Take the time to do it. So right. So we work a lot. Take the time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Definitely. What about you? I know you had a tough week. Um, yeah. I so, wait, wait. wait. Let's, let's talk real quick. No, let, actually, let me do this, and then we'll talk real quick about what we have coming up this week. So, my lesson... My, my lesson from last week is I really, really, really need to get two months ahead of having all my stuff planned and done, like my content, my promotions, my all that stuff, you know, all that stuff done because when you're trying to get it finished the week before, even though you've given a timeline to your employees of like two weeks to, you know, two weeks and get it done the week before or two weeks before, when they didn't finish it, now you're pushing them for that week before and then you're... Your accountability partner, hello Esme, your accountability partner goes on vacation and then you got to help her staff get their stuff done, right? On top of you have an employee who's going on vacation for two weeks, you have to get another employee trained, you're updating your procedures, right? Creating some videos, uh, you have a baby shower coming up for your daughter next week and at your house, your son is starting school next week, right? It was a hell week. I was... Very unhappy, but trying to be happy. She did. She sent me a edible arrangement yesterday. It showed up, and I see them walking up to my door, and I thought, 
oh, they're coming to the wrong house. And they were looking a little confused. And then she knocked on the door and she said, this is for Shauna. And I was like, it's not my birthday. Why did somebody send me something? And she sent me a really, she sent me a really cute card. So thank you. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. So that, you know, I, we do pick up when the other one doesn't do it, but we did both learn a huge lesson, which is like you said, have our stuff in the can well ahead of time so that we aren't doing it at the last minute, which we felt like we weren't, but then stuff happens. Yeah. We actually started doing all the videos and all the prep for it, like almost three weeks ago, four weeks ago. So we yeah. should have, it should have worked out fine, but you know, life happens and yeah. things happen. So Miss Esme, are you on by phone early I only? Esme, can you hear us? Yes, I can. I can. Yes. How are you? Good. How are yeah, you? How are you, Esme? Good, good. <laughs> I'm glad you're addressing this. This is good stuff. Oh, thank you. Are, are you are you not able to get on so we can see your beautiful face today or not? Oh, I'm sorry. No, I can't see my face today. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's it just it's so pretty, you know? Oh, by the way, uh, Esme, I just showed one of my friends a picture of you, and I had her guess how old you are. She said 35. Oh, oh my God. Awesome. Thank you. You just made my day. Right? Awesome. And, but I think a lot of people think that. So that's what happens when you take really good care of yourself, and that's a lesson for all of us. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Okay, so my wins for this week were that the smile week which is this is this is smile week hello it started so watch our facebook pages we're doing some fun stuff um i'm if uh let's see at 8 55 today we i let the cat out of the bag on my facebook page and i showed you what we're up to this week did you see it did you post the video yes so you'll see our video or i put it on i had to go at 8 55 so the video is up there. Our bloopers are on the video, so watch it till the end. We always have a lot of fun. Should we tell them what it is? Should we make them go to the Facebook page? Oh, I think that you could give them a little hint. Okay, so what it it is the 25th anniversary of this part, buddy partner in crime movie. Yes. Woman, part, woman buddy movie. Yes, yes. Are you looking for the postcard? Well, I do. I have it right here. It's just under something. Okay. So wait. All right. Should I show? Should I show? That's what. Go I'm... ahead. So, so stay tuned this week because you might be getting a visit from. from can you tell what this is? Woo woo! Thelma and Louise. <laughs> So we have this little promo that we're doing. We we mailed these out. They're actually probably, if they didn't show up on the weekend to some of the, our clients and prospects, they're showing up today. And we mailed them out with a little poker chip. So they have to flip the poker chip and they either get them or they get Louise. And they go on to, they go on to a, a, our landing page and they get to choose, whatever one they chose, they click on that person and they get their adventure that month. And we're going to do a monthly adventure into, through December. Yeah, so Cindy and yeah. I have, Created some fun ones for everybody to do, and I cannot reveal what those are. What did you say? Wait, where's where's our poker chips? Do you have a poker chip? I have a poker chip that I'd have to go get, and as well as oh. yeah, they're out of out of reach. And you have one of your guns too. So then on one day this week, Thelma and Louise, aka Cindy and I, are gonna go out to some people, that, some offices that we chose. And we are going to, there's the poker chip that we mailed. Do you see my gun? And, and Louise. <laughs> Who'd you get? Oh, you got me. Woo, woo. <laughs> Miss Thelma. And then we did. The gun, and then she would shoot at the targets on here. Okay. You're gonna shoot him. You're not gonna hit me. <laughs> oh, you got Thelma, cause it's Team Thelma, Team Thelma right here. So yeah, we're just gonna go. We're gonna go out. We're gonna spend the day. We're just gonna drop by offices. No one's gonna know we're showing up, and we're gonna show up as Thelma and Louise and have fun and make people smile. So this whole week, we are going to be posting things and doing things just to make people smile. And we really encourage you to do the same. Like life is too I love short. That. I love that. 
love that, you guys. That's so, so cool. Oh, thanks, Miss Esme. Thank you. So the wins. Uh, a lot of fun. And if you haven't seen our video from last year, too, I'm sure you can look on either of our Facebook pages and find that because that was fun as well. And we love Smile Week. And um, this is one of the things as accountability partners would be a, I guess, a program or a promotions that we do together. Yeah. Yeah. You can do it with somebody else that's not in your business. So, and then if yeah, you, the, you I, like, I love that you guys are so creative. What, what fun. Thank it's you. It's a lot of fun. It doesn't suit everyone, right? As me, I mean, we have one person that we, that we talk to, a fellow, and he's like, oh, I couldn't dress up like that. And it's like, you have to find what works for you. For us, we're just dorks. We like to laugh at ourselves. <laughs> we like to make people laugh. Right. And right. that's how it works. That's a wonderful gift. You just go in and make people smile and, and make their day. However you do that, what they see is that you're creative. Right. And you can come up with, with great ideas like that that are unique. I love that. Right. And and for those yeah, that... Go ahead. Go ahead. So for those that you don't know, you'll see it come up on our Facebook page. So we're having everybody post adventures they do. They could be the ones that Thelma and Louise gives them or just anyone that they want to do or have done in the past. You post a picture with the hashtag... Uh, mine is Spitfire Adventures and Cindy's is Starburst Adventures. And then at the end, uh, on August 26th, it will end and we're going to reward uh, we're gonna reward somebody who did that. So we're going to come up with a cool prize and yeah. it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So we would love it's to see you guys engage with us and, and show us your pictures. Make us laugh too. We need some smiles. <laughs> Absolutely. We love, love, love to see your pictures. So definitely. Yep. So that was my big win. I made. But I'm actually my big win is I made it through the week because I wasn't sure at some point that I was going to do it without a nervous breakdown, but I did. I know. You did. <laughs> Yay! Yep. You're still standing. I, yep. You still love, love me, so. And I do. And we, and we learned, right? We learned. That's the whole. Yep. We learned. Yep. Definitely. So okay. Anybody want to talk about or Esme? Do you want to talk right, about? Esme, do you want to talk about any of your wins, lessons, goals from last week before we move on to next week since you're on live with us? <laughs> Lee says, Thelma and Louise. I know. Isn't that so fun, Lee? <laughs> uh, take, take away some last week. I, I love that awesome meeting we had on Friday about <sighs> weed magnets, and it's got me all thinking about it. Um, and uh, my one of my takeaways is that I really need to focus on creating lead magnets, on organizing everything. And for me especially, I need to be more controversial for what I'm doing. Interesting. Yeah. Ah. For, because if I if I need to if I want to stand out in the crowd, because my business is unique as a dating coach, a dating and style coach for men, I need to stand out in the crowd and not do what everybody else does. So my lead magnets are gonna have to be uh, pretty interesting and a little controversial, I think. So, so I'm thinking about it. I'm already, um, you know, I'm, I'm uh, going to be doing that TV show. I ran into the producer last night. So awesome. that's, yeah, that's, that's going to be very exciting. That's cool. yeah. yeah, that's awesome. And Lee, and, Lee's uh, over on Facebook. So Lee, if you want to jump on Zoom and you're going to want to talk about what we talked about on Friday, that was an amazing Zoom call we did going over Sales Funnel, League Magnets. It was awesome. So you, feel free to jump over to Zoom if you want to talk about it. If not, then I'll, I'll talk a little bit more. So yeah, Esme, that was a great call. I think all of us who were on it got a lot out of it. Um, Lee's, Lee's, I can't even tell you. Lee is amazing. Her knowledge and her expertise and she just gives it freely is so kudos to you, Lee. Kudos to you. So yeah. And then yeah. what it was supposed to be a one-time meeting. That's how we could kind of set it up. It'd be a one-time meeting and we would, um, she would just give us the points to have in your sales funnel and, you know, talking about some premiums and kind of all just work through it as she was teaching it with us. And then we decided that as we wanted to continue accountability. Hello. So we're continuing and we're meeting again on this Friday coming up and we all have committed to doing a certain task. Everybody named their own task, what they would have done for this meeting. And then we talk awesome. about it and we'll brainstorm it. So we'll keep going with it to get our sales funnel complete. So that's awesome. It was and, uh, we're so lucky because she just boils it down uh, and makes it easy because super easy. Sometimes we just don't have time to go for like a whole, you know, week of, of events and stuff. And she, yeah. she does that and just narrows it down and, my God, the value is incomparable. I'm, I'm so lucky. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's, that's the value of working together with an accountability partner as well as then we, we have developed into some mastermind groups, right? That you get to you get to meet incredible people. Thank you so much for everyone in our group. And everybody brings different ideas and strengths and skills and uh, we can share them with each other and, and make things move forward and, and hopefully make things a little bit easier for all of us. Right. Yes, yes. So Lee says she can't yeah. jump over to Zoom. So that's unfortunate, but we appreciate everything, Lee, that you've done for us. And, and like Esme just said, the way you boiled that down and you made it so easy to understand. And, and like, this is all, this is what you need. Here's your, you know, here's the things that you need in your sales funnel. Don't worry about the rest. And these are the price points that you should be selling things at when your sales funnel. And these are the things you should be doing for free, you know, and the different levels. It, it was awesome. That's great. Uh, did you record that? <laughs> she said, uh, yeah, she said she, I uh, just figured out how to get the recording. We'll be sending it later today along with the templates and wow. access. So that's, ju that's yeah. just for our mastermind group. I don't think that that's something that we should share publicly because I know that it's different yeah. things that we're working in the business, but maybe yeah. Lee, if anyone's interested, would be willing to put out her, the template, or I can have them contact her if they want some more info and she can. Or maybe you can come on and talk about it a little. Oh, yeah, maybe we'll have, hey, Lee, would you be interested in coming on to one of our accountability calls and, and talking about this? I really think it's something that all business owners, salespeople should definitely be okay. using. Uh, yeah. So that would be great. Definitely. I love that. So what about your goals for this week besides tomorrow week? Um, yeah, my main goal is to stay sane and not be yeah. stressed. That's my, honestly, like, that's what I wrote as my main goal. <laughs> There's still a lot going on, right? Jackson starts school on Wednesday, which why would you have somebody start on Wednesday? Can we just start next Monday? I always do. I know. Yeah. Uh, Crazy. Lee said she would love to be on our show and she's going to be doing a course on that. So perfectly oh, perfect. perfect. Okay. So awesome. after the show, we'll set up a, t we'll set up a day for you to come on and one on our show and talk about it. Cause yeah, it's, so it's Lee and Katie. Yes. Lee and Katie, which will both be amazing, coming from two different perspectives to help you with your business. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Two different skills that you definitely need. Um, okay. Yeah. So then we have our Smile Week promo. I, I'm excited about Thursday. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes. And we'll be posting I'm some. Actually... Well, you can't hit me right now unless you know how to make it go through the computer. <laughs> Oh, but I wouldn't feel it. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. I, I really need to work on my marketing packages. I'm not even like that. If maybe that might happen because what's more important is that I get the smile week done that I have, uh, my, my one employee is gone for two weeks. So I, myself and my other employee is covering their things and I'm trying to train him on what she does. So that's a lot in itself. My daughter's baby shower is here this weekend. Jackson's starting school. So I'm just wow. trying to smile my way through this week. <laughs> you are. You are. I am. The other thing that I was thinking we could put down that if people are interested, please let us know. But maybe they'd be interested. We have put together a step-by-step -step guide of how we do these promotions. That's true. And at some point, we, we can go over that if people are interested in hearing that. Right. So my goals for this week are obviously to do Smile Week. Yep. Um, I need to get caught up on my jobs and find out where things are at, which I kind of have already done that. I had some issues with my website, which was part of the uh, problem that we had this last week. I need to uh, I need to talk to my webmaster. Uh huh. That's super important, and I need to sign a job. Because whenever I put it up there, I do. <laughs> <laughs> Esme, do you have any? Oh, she's gone. Okay. So Lee said, last week was a huge success for me. We had the best trade show response. And people are calling left and right today now that, that they're back in their offices. Awesome. And Lee actually shared that on our call. So you'll see when you watch the recording, Cindy, about what they did, how they didn't even get the... Um, list for the attendees until I think she said Wednesday or thir Wednesday of that week. And they started oh just, God. yeah, blasting it out starting Thursday and the things they did to drive, bring traffic to the booth and the funny moments they had with it. So it was, it's pretty oh. awesome. Yep. 
she signed three new transcription client contracts. Nice. Had a nice. great mastermind session. Yes, we did. And she walked 10,000 steps every single day. Holy cow. Were you Pokemon going, Lee? Because my, my husband and my son are doing that. And so between starting jujitsu for my husband and doing Pokemon Go, he's lost 21 pounds now. He walked 11. My husband, who does not ever want to go on a walk with me, walked 11 miles on Saturday, you guys. I am the biggest fan of Pokemon Go, even though I have no interest really in doing it. Yes. I am the biggest fan of Pokemon Go. It's getting people out there. It's getting people exercising. It's people getting people to be social. I think it is the bomb diggity. I really do. But, okay, somebody did get hit by a car. So watch yourself well, when you're out there. Yeah, it says beware of your surroundings. No, when you log on, it says no trespassing. <laughs> yeah, but you need to be aware of your surroundings. You can't just put your head down. I yeah. mean, common sense. Yeah. Now, we saw P Pikachu. Is that it? Pikachu in Chicago. There was like a live on the street. I have no idea. Oh, oh, oh. Like somebody dressed as Pikachu? Yeah. Yeah. We're like, okay, we know that has to do with Pokemon. That's all we know. So my it was like this. <laughs> oh, yeah. My um, grand, my grandson, who's three, caught his fo first Pokemon this week. So he was over yesterday, yes. and he said, "I got him, I got him, Nana, I got him." And I was like, "Oh, you did!" He's so proud of himself. So Lee awesome. says, "No Pokemon Go for me." You know what? I I've done it one time when we were at Universal Studios with the family. I'm really not interested, but. I'm going to go with them sometimes to go walking, to spend time with my family. Yeah, I'll go play it. They're like level 20-something now. I'm level 7 from because I only played that one time when we were on vacation. I don't care. It's, it, no, I, I agree. I think yeah, it's smart. It, I read something, a quote today about, for, you know, about your marriage and what you should do for your husband. And one of the things is show interest in some of the things that they do. You may not always be interested, but, you know, it's kind of funny. I... I ended up with all men in my life, and I didn't grow up with a with a family that watched and did a lot of sports. And now, look at my life, right? We are involved in every kind of sport. I when we were in Chicago, we went to two ball games, great oh. Cubs game, awesome. Uh, that's awesome. So, but you know what? I thought if you can't beat them, join them. Yep. Right. So yeah. It's just about time with them, right? And creating memories because when you go. When you leave this earth, that's what you have it's with your yeah. children, with your family, with your friends. Is all, it's all you have is memories. So go yeah. out there and create some memories with them. Yep, exactly. And then make them smile. Yes, make them smile. Yeah. This week especially, make them smile. Maybe we should maybe yeah. we should dress up as giant Pikachus and like run around or something. Well, I don't know. We'll have to think. We always start thinking about next year's Smile yeah. Week. Yeah. Already, already started thinking about it. So yep. we'll see. Yep. We'll see. Stay tuned. So, um, that is all I think for my goals. I have a call with Katie. Yep. I'm trying to look at my. Oh, and I have my special project done that I'm going to get back to an hour a day. Nice. Because I really need to get that done. Because every time I, I just really need to get it done. Yeah. So, okay. So, so anything else? Anything else? If anybody else has anything, let us know. If not, then Miss Cindy is going to pull our message from the day or for the day. Let's get, let's get a good one. All righty, here we go. Any, anybody with some goals out there, go ahead and feel oh, free. So Lee said her goals for this week is two opt-ins, each done at launch for Girly Girls No Sports. That's fun on Facebook if anybody wants to. If you're a girly girl and you want to know sports or you do know some sports, she has put a great Facebook group together. Um, so two opt-ins each time for girly girls, no sports, and for speech tech and her limitless. Um, two, structure and planning done for the trade show, sales funnel and webinars for speech tech. And my favorite is her number three, breathe. Oh, <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so Make sure that people know how to, to put in their goals because they get entered into a drawing, right? Yeah. So we have a contest that we do. So and, so just by posting on here, interacting during on the show and then during the week on our Facebook page or on our Twitter, uh, you can post in there. And then just let us know what your goals are for this week so that we can help you be held accountable for that. 
So Lee says, I need to figure out how to get a Pokemon at our next booth. So I heard that they're going to have it so that people, so businesses can start buying. Oh, that's what I thought too. Yeah, you can start buying them and so that people can come into your establishment. Right right now, if you get one, as my understanding is if there is a Pokemon, uh, a hotspot or a gym, which gyms are the big thing. Like my husband, my husband, and my son just took over the gym right by us, you know. Yeah, and so you put your people on, and then, and there's like four team colors, like blue, yellow, red, and I don't remember the other one, maybe green. Anyway, so these teams come, and they don't even know each other, but when they're, I see when we're like walking past people, they're like, oh, what team are you? Oh, you're team blue, I'm team blue, right? So people you don't even know, and then you can take over a gym. Yeah, it's, you know what, it's so social in such a non-social world anymore that I'm just, I I love it. I think it's genius. It's helping take technology and making it social. Right. And so this is a card that we pulled, right? Given our conversation. Family. Ooh, I like it. I know, right? All right. So this card means that the question you asked is related to a family issue. It could be that some healing work is needed concerning one particular family member, or this card might signal a need for more family togetherness, such as spending an evening or a holiday together. Your angels will guide you through this. Additional meanings. A new addition to your family is entering. You have friends who are like a second family to you. It's time to face old feelings so they can be released and cleared. Release an unwanted pattern by forgiving one or more family members, mm-hmm. including yourself. Mm, that's a good one. Especially with all the it's family drama that can happen. Hard. So if you have a situation with a family member, surround them with calming blue light and many angels. Mm-hmm. I like and that. that is that. I don't know so of any family that. that hasn't had some drama in it. So I think, right. yeah, I think that's awesome. And, you know, I just posted that's on my Facebook page, there was a nurse who had posted a video on Facebook and she, she had just watched another patient die you know, like hospice cancer. And, and she was just like, I just really want to tell you guys, like, basically life short, like, forget all this, forget all this. Yeah. Right. And I, and I just thought like, I've learned that lesson in my life, but there's so many people who haven't. So I just think it's really important. You guys just love each other, smile, like kumbaya, whatever, if you, that's what you think I'm saying right now, but Life's too short to have anger in your in your body, right? To keep the family drama up and with friends and whatever. If those people aren't serving you anymore, just make peace with it. They don't have to be in your life as an active part of your life. But make peace with it. Don't cause any more drama, right? Be the better person. I, I think that a, a big theme of our show today is really, you know, we work hard at growing and working in our business and we support each other. But remember to take time for yourself and your family and your loved ones and make those memories. Yep. So, and you have memories in your business yep. and things that you, that you remember that are really, really awesome sometimes and you need to create those for yourself and your family. Definitely. And smile. Smile. Happy smile so, week, everybody. Go. <laughs> Think of something you can do today to make somebody smile. So go get them some coffee. Yeah, go get them a dessert and then leave it on their desk at work. Bring flowers home to your wife. Do some, a handwritten card to somebody. There's so many things you can do. But make somebody smile today and every day this week. Happy Smile Week from Thelma. Happy and Thelma and? Oh, you are. She, she, she's had a lot of trouble remembering her name. <laughs> She is. <laughs> so, yeah, check out our Facebook pages. Yep, we'll see you there. Bye.